Hey y'all, Coach Jennifer here. Got the calendar ready. And then in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Day of Atonement. The correct Day of Atonement, as well as the Jewish Day of Atonement. Let's go ahead and look at that right quick. We see they have atonement beginning on October the 11th and ending on October the 12th. And if you're wondering why that is, it's because they celebrated Rosh Hashanah from October the 2nd to October the 4th. So if you start on October the 2nd, which we do right here, you would have the memorial blowing of trumpets, day 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And so that's why they are starting a little bit early. We can be sure that they are starting early looking for the sightings over at truthofyahweh.org. We can see that there was no sightings reported as of October the 3rd in the year 2024. And we can see that there was three people from Arizona, one from California, as well as Australia, two people in Florida, six in Indiana, two in Jamaica, two in Kentucky, Missouri, three in South Africa, one in Texas, and Virginia all saw the new moon on October the 4th, which was a Friday on the Gregorian calendar, making Saturday, October the 5th, the correct day for the memorial of blowing of trumpets and the beginning of fall. Now, when you count from there as day one, you have October the 6th as day two, the 7th as day three. That would put the Sabbath day on October the 12th, which would be a Saturday, tissue eight. The ninth day of the month would be October the 13th, which would be the beginning of atonement day, which would be October the 14th, the 10th of Tishri, the correct day of atonement. Now, before you go, I also wanted to share this with you. This is from our work we're doing on the celestial clock calendar. And what you're looking at are the star alignments for the time we're in now, which is the black, the time of the Messiah, which is the red, the time of Solomon, which is the yellow, and the time of the crossing of the river Jordan, which is the purple. What we're interested in is the crossing of the river Jordan and how closely it aligns with our times as you look in there at the purple and the black. So if I were to take away some of the other dots, like the time of the Messiah and the time of Solomon, we see that all of the stars are aligned on one side of our solar system. Talking about the wandering stars, of course, which shows the alignment and shows why we will have a similar situation to what they would have experienced back there crossing the River Jordan with Joshua in the book of Joshua. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you would, you can um, look over this, take screenshots of it as you will and see if you notice any patterns. The way it works is we have the black, which is the current time that we're in. If you look at the stars and where they are all are aligned back on the April the 8th in the year 2024, you will see where these stars align. But when you're looking at the purple ones, you're looking at the positions of those wandering stars from Joshua's perspective. Now, other than the times going from Pisces to Aquarius, the only real difference I see is this other lesser known planet called Cirrus, I believe. Now, let me turn the colors for Solomon back on. Now, the reason why we chose Solomon is because during his reign, we were on the opposite end of this chart, this 6,000 year chart. 
you would go back exactly 3,000 years to be in the time of Solomon. But when you're looking at that time, you see that the stars align, many of them, but he doesn't have a clear pathway for a true alignment. Unlike the time in the Garden of Eden and now, you see a clear shot. And yes, this, like we said, is 6,000 years of human history. So not only would it correspond to the year 2028, but also the time of Adam in the garden. During those times, there is a clear passageway. There's no stars out of a line that would prevent a clear shot for something that could cause a pole shift. Back in the book of Joshua, it happened on second Passover. So I just wanted to share that with you. I would love to read your comments down below. But looking back at the calendar, one last time, we see that we have Atonement Day starting on October the 13th and lasting until the evening of October the 14th. We have the first day of Tabernacles as October the 19th, Tishri 15, and the eighth day being October the 26th, Tishri 22. Now, you can get a copy of this calendar in PDF form over at coachingthefight.shop and or in the community section of this video. And if you would, go ahead and check out these videos about fasting on Atonement Day and celebrating Tabernacles and even the eighth day. Go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't done so already. Make sure you subscribe. If you would, consider us in your holiday giving with links down in the description. Yah Barak, Yahweh, may our Lord bless you and keep you. May our Father in heaven, Abba Shimaim, make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Lift up Yahweh, his countenance upon you and give you peace.